Hello creative ones, this is Robin Dudley House, the artsy bohemian coming to you from my studio in Los Angeles, California. I've been um, asked several times to show how to paint a rose and I'm just going to start with a simple one. Um, so these are great to put in your junk journals. Um, you can add them to envelopes or pockets or tuck spots and they just give your junk journal um, more, they're, you know, they're more personal that way. And these are particularly inspired by Edith Holden. Um, these particular roses, they're like rose hips. And this is um, my inspiration um, to, to, for the roses that we're going to be painting. Um, and I'm just going to go off of this one so that I can keep the book down because it's, it's a pretty big book. Um, this book is the country diary of an Edwardian lady and she if you don't know who she is you might want to look her up um, and Google her um, she was known for her um, illustrations that she did on her walks and some of the poetry that she would write and um, this one is from two, uh, 1906 so we'll go ahead and start You're going to want uh, old book pages. That's what I used on here. And it's a, it's a fairly small book page. It's only about, I don't know, like maybe 6 by 8 or 9. And I just fold it in half. I like the color, you know, the vintage look of the paper. So we're just going to use that. You can use a full sheet if you want to. You're going to need watercolors. Um, these are Jane Davenport's. I like them because they're small and portable, but you can use any watercolors you want. I I like having two different palettes. This is more of an earthy tone, and then this one are, is the brights of her, that she has. But you can use, like I said, you can use any color you want. Um, you can put gesso on it if you'd like to. Some of the ones I have have gesso, like uh, this one right here has gesso on it, so it's a different look. Those were all, all of these were inspired by Edith Holden. Um, you need a paintbrush and um, you can use, oh, where did my paintbrush go? Um, because this is, we're working on a small substrate, you'll want a smaller type of a brush. This is a round size two, or you can use uh, one of these types of brushes that have water in them already, which I love using. So um, what I like to do to start is to just do a very light um, drawing of the flower. So we're going to start with the stamen, and I'm holding my pencil way up high so it's not, so I, you know, don't push too hard on to the uh, the page. And um, we're just going to do an outline of where the petals and the leaves are. And you can see it's outlined in black, which is the last thing that I usually do. And then we're going to do a few leaves and then we'll start painting. This is the center, and we'll be um, outlining that more with black ink when we're done with the uh, watercolor. So we'll start with the stamen in uh, a, a darkish olive color green. And my palette is very, very bright, this palette here. So what I do is I'll take uh, the green, which is... Wait, looks like this and then I'll mix a little bit of brown and it gives me an olive color which is like this right here so we'll just very lightly go on the the stem here bring it down and do about half of the leaf 
on all of the leaves here. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more green in there. And I'm just lightly pressing on the uh, receptacle here to give myself some water. And just doing half. So only doing half of the leaf because we want to create an illusion of um, light and shadow. And I'm going to take some of that paint off and then just kind of go back over that. I'm going to do a little bit on the inside, just a tad. The trick with this kind of look is not putting so much paint on the uh, page here. I'm taking some of this paint off because that's a little bit too dark. It also looks darker when it's um, wet. When it, when it dries, it'll, it'll, it won't look as concentrated. Okay, so now I'm taking, I'm just taking that paint off and now I'm going to move to a little bit of the pink and because this is really bright pink, I'm going to tone it down with a little bit of that green that we made. So, pink here, kind of a magenta pink, a little bit of that green and it tones it down. And I'm going to outline where we did the pencil drawing and it's just I kind of like it a little bit wobbly so you don't want to you don't have to be perfect with this so we, now we have the outline and I'm just going to draw some of that paint that we have there into the flower not too much because we want to keep a lot of this open so that we have some uh, light and highlights. I'm not adding any more paint. I'm just using the paint that's already on the outline to bring inside of the flower. And then I'm going to take that paint off and I'm going to just add a darker color on the right side. So the left side has this greenish color and then the right side is going to be more of the shadow. So let's do a little bit of a brown and black, make it kind of a sepia, but we're really going to water it down. So I'm going to make sure that this isn't too dark. I'm really taking a lot of that off and just barely bringing that out. And then I might, now it's going to be a little bit loud because I'm going to um, dry it um, with the heat gun. And that's part of this too, is you can either walk away from it and then come back and paint some more. But you do have to let, um, there's going to be different layers that you have to let dry. So I'm going to turn this on. It's just going to be for a few seconds. take some of that sepia, just a little tiny bit of that sepia, and kind of start outlining a little bit, just a tiny bit, onto just the sides. Just start, just do one side, either the left or the right side of the drawing. In other words, where your, um, I'll take some of that off where your pencil marks were. And this just starts giving it some uh, depth. And what's gonna really give it some, is really what's gonna really outline it is once we're done and it's dried, we're going to take a very thin black ink pen and just very lightly go over it. So I'm going to take a little bit <clears throat> of this yellow and kind of give myself a little bit of a highlight. I'm going to take some of the yellow off and then just kind of do this. 
here. I'm squeezing some water on here because I want it to have that watercolor effect. I'm going to let it dry and then we'll give it more um, definition um, with the ink pen. I'm going to add a little bit more of that yellow. I'm actually going to take it and just dull it down a little bit and add just a tad, just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit more yellow on the inside and just kind of drop water here. Meaning I'm going to, I'm squeezing this so that there's more water. If you're using a brush, you're going to want to uh, add water to it so that you get that nice watercolor effect. Then I'm going to take that same color and move it to the other side of the leaf. So we did half of it in that olive color. Now we're going to be doing half of it in this kind of chartreuse type color. And I'm just going to move that down a little bit more. It will start looking more like a flower once the um, we do the outline. Um, and now I'm just going to take a little bit of an orange color and just do a little bit on the sides here. Do a little bit here. And this just kind of gives us some more um, light, different colors here. Do a little bit here. And I'm just taking the excess paint and pushing it out to the sides here. And I'm going to pop the, uh, actually I'm going to add a little bit more yellow I think. I'm going to add, make this a little bit more green. I don't like how dark it is. too much paint. So all I did was add it, added another really bright green on top of that. And that's too bright now. Because we're not working on watercolor paper, you have to be careful because it, if you put if you go over this too many times, it's going to start making the paper pill. So I'm going to shoot it with some uh, hot the hot uh, I want to call it the hot glue gun, but it's not a hot glue gun. <laughs> My heat tool. So we're going to add a little bit more pink here and then we're going to wait for it to dry and go over it with uh, a black pen. So this part I want to make sure that um, a lot of the text is still showing through and I'm, I'm going to do a really, really light coat of pink on here. This Trying to take off as much pink as possible. And then a lot of water so that we get this watercolor look. So a little bit of pinks here. And the very outline. One more time with the heat gun.
And now we're just going to take a really fine point black ink pen and hold it at the very end and just very lightly start going over our outlines. And you notice I'm not completing the whole line of where we drew because I like the effect. And it was, wasn't was dry completely over here, but that's okay. And I like that the way that it looks there. And then this is where we're really going to uh, define where the inside of the flower is. Just do a little circle, a little bit of lines here and kind of outline where the shadow is. And we're going to do little tiny circles. dots and there you go and do that as number one and there you go